in this video, I'm going to be using a budget macro setup to showcase the kind of photos you can get with cheap gear. The camera I'm using is my old Nikon D3400, which is worth around $300 nowadays. The lens I'm using is an 18 to 55 kit lens, which is worth around $50 to $100. My flash is a Speedlight TT560, which I bought off Amazon for $40. My diffuser is something that I made myself out of cardboard, aluminum foil, a laminated sheet of paper, staples, and a shoestring. And the last piece of equipment that I have, which this video will be covering, is some extension tubes. This specific set I got off Amazon for $40. Extension tubes are very cheap, will usually cost you anywhere from $20 to $100 at most, and they can turn just about any lens into a macro lens. They can be a great option for you if you are on a budget or if you are new to macro photography and you want something cheap to test out the genre. An extension tube will increase the magnification of a lens by simply moving the optics further away from the camera. How many you need depends on the lens you have. You want your magnification to be anywhere from one to two times magnification at least. I feel like that is the best range for macro photography. So the best lenses to use are either your kit lenses or if you have a 50 millimeter prime lens or a shorter wide angle lens. The shorter the focal length of your lens, the less extension tubes you will need to reach one times magnification. There is an extension tube calculator website which will calculate the magnification you will have with your setup. You will just have to enter the focal length of your lens, the magnification of your lens, the extension tube length, and it will calculate your magnification. For me, my lens is a 55 millimeter with a magnification of 0.17. Had to Google that to find out. And all three of my extension tubes equaled 68 millimeters. And my final magnification was almost 1.5. It's pretty simple. I will have a link for the website in the description. The photo quality is pretty good. Definitely better than I expected. I had no problems capturing the textures and eye details on the subjects I photographed. You won't have any issues with the quality, even with a kit lens such as the one I'm using. Depending on the lens you are using, the quality and sharpness in your images will be just as good as photos from a dedicated macro lens. There are a few cons with extension tubes, and the first one that I noticed right away was the very short working distance. The working distance is the space between the subject and the front end of your lens. You may find it extra challenging trying to photograph those skittish subjects because of this. There were a few times when I scared the bugs I was trying to photograph away because my camera was too close without me even realizing how close I was. I actually measured the working distance I had with this setup and I only had about a two inch distance from my lens and subject. The closer the working distance, the less light you will have. So I do recommend using a flash to counter the loss of light.
Another con is the lack of versatility. The biggest difference between a macro lens and extension tubes is that you can use a macro lens for more than just macro photography. You can use a macro lens for portraits, landscape, and basically just about anything else. With the extension tubes, you can only use them for close-up photography. The last con is that some of the cheaper extension tubes won't maintain the electrical connection between the lens and camera, meaning you can't use autofocus or have aperture control without an aperture ring on your lens. So just be aware of that possibility if you are new to macro photography because I know shooting in manual at first can take some time to get used to. Overall, extension tubes are a great and budget-friendly option if you are looking to get into macro photography. It is 100% possible to take great quality macro photos, even with cheap gear, so don't think just because it is cheap that you won't get quality photos out of it. Gear is only a very small part of taking good photos. If you liked this video or found it helpful, then make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll catch y'all in the next one.